Hi, I'm Nikhil. I'm from Hyderabad. I'm 23 years of old and currently I'm working at a small case as a front end engineer. My schooling and as in the plus one plus two were not so excellent. Like I was a average student. I was never really into academics. I couldn't visualize the things, the conceptual things. So that was a big hindrance for me to, you know, learn something. I kind of wanted to become a doctor, but then backed off saying that I can't uh, you know, put in the hours to become a doctor. Then I shifted to maybe engineering. I am not. I wasn't sure back then. At least the goal for after plus one plus two was to have an option of doing engineering. To be very honest, I was not interested in computer science when I was in college. As I said, I couldn't visualize the things that I was learning. So I did not like the subject, the core subject itself. It was kind of hard for me to go through the curriculum the college had because it was pretty old curriculum, pretty old syllabus. I felt it, it, it did not cater to the needs that the job market had right now. So I dropped off from engineering with a very bitter experience with computer science and very you know, kind of an aversion towards computer science. So I wa- did not want to do coding. I thought of doing some other degree. Basically, I was exploring my options. Then coincidentally, I came across a online course which had, uh, which was helping with uh, web development. And it was pretty interesting knowing, knowing that I could build something. Yeah, so when I took that course, I was actually able to see what I was building. Like I could visualize the things that I was coding actually. I ended up liking what I uh, what I didn't like first. So all the thing I was doing was uh, replicating whatever the instructor was doing. So if the instructor was like building a website with a couple of photos, I was doing the same. I was not able to understand what exactly was happening or why we should be doing something. That was a gateway for me to understand, okay, there is something like web development and there is this thing that I can do. But it did not help me, uh, you know, get any further than what the instructor was teaching. And then one day I was going through my Google News feed and I came across my server. So it took me like two, two and a half weeks. I got placed as a friend. Uh, Rent and intern at uh, Paytm Money. I, I could have waited for a, pro, a full-time job, but I felt uh, internship would be uh, good for good as a learning experience for me at a uh, you know pretty huge company as uh, Paytm Money. I feel it would also be the same, but uh, you would have a very small margin of error as a full-time. Employee. And there would be a lot of responsibility on your part. If you're confident enough, that is a good good thing. That's not a bad thing to say. But to, to build that confidence, I think internship is a very good uh, place to start with. So being a college dropout, I was very apprehensive about uh, you know any company being okay with uh, a college dropout. I did not see anyone get placed without a college degree, formal degree. So I was very uh, apprehensive about it. I used to constantly go to our mentors or our placement team and ask if it, if this would be okay or if you know there would be a problem uh, because of my background. But from the companies itself, I have never faced a issue with the, me being a college offer. They frankly did not even maybe ask a, ask more than two questions about why I dropped out of college because they only wanted the skill that I had. They only were looking for the perfect fit for their company rather than what I did. I think it is a great field to be in. There will be, uh, you know, uh, tough times, but I think it's all worth it. And if you adhere to it, and if you stick to your uh, goal, it can be done by anyone.